Key news, my lovely, wonderful people. The former governor of uh, Buhari's state, talking about, you know, uh, Masary, has come out to tell Northern elders, telling them off that you guys are a bunch of hypocrites. You endorsed Tinubu because he was an APC man, and you endorsed him saying you are, you are expecting, based on expectation, and today, the country, you have put us in a serious trouble. He said, this is your fault. It's all your fault, you know. And he's saying people are suffering as a result of, you know, the decisions that they have made. And this is affecting the whole country and everyone. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As Northern Elders, you know, you know, leaders fight among themselves over Tinubu's performance, woeful performance, I must tell you, and how this is beginning to affect the people. Every single one can see, you know, what Nigerians are going through. When Tinubu came in, most of them were standing beside him and doing what, you know, you know, parading and giving all kinds of explanations saying, wow, uh, this and that. But today, the song is different. Even the rich, you know, uh, you know, uh, they, they, but then they, but then they tell them, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. You endorsed Tinubu on expectation, not principles. Ex-governor Masara fires northern governors. You are the one making us to suffer. Retrace your step. Former Castina state governor. Aminio Masarawa has criticized the Northern Elders Forum for re regretting supporting President Bola Ahmed Tinubu during the last general election. Recall that the Northern Elders Forum has said they, they regret their decision of supporting President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, saying he has made the life worse for Nigerians. He says, Nigerians that are living in the country are currently experiencing unspeakable hardship. Unlike, he said, unlike Buhari's time, Buhari was better. However, Masawa, in an interview with Daily Trust, said, Northern elders endorsed Tinubu based on expectation rather than principles. The former governor said it was too early in the administration for first year for most of the criticism it has suffered. The same people that endorsed him, they had other candidates, but they chose Tinubu. Now they are going about criticizing the Tinubu. They are all hypocrites and must be told who they really are. Tinubu has only spent one year in office. They should give him time to make his way known. This man came in telling them he has something to do and he has things to offer and they believed him. The problem is that some of us stood for principles in supporting Tinubu and did not really see. Today is just one year out of four years and so Nigerians must be patient. Northern elders who went about supporting Tinubu must not come out now in the public criticizing him as if he has done the unthinkable. They were the one who supported him initially. Why have they gone back against their word? This is unheard of. So this is what is happening, my lovely, wonderful people. As you and I can see, um, a former uh, governor is coming out to say that um, the Northern elders are true hypocrites, that you know they supported Tinubu, and today they are coming out to say, oh, they regretted supporting Tinubu. They are doing this and that. He said it's totally, completely unacceptable. The way they are going about things, he said, is not, is not something that should be celebrated in any way, form, or kind. That these are the same people who you know came out openly, you know, he does not want to say after receiving a, a goodies, okay, you know what goodies is. If you know what goodies is, happy ending. They receive happy ending in terms of cash. And um, after that, today, they are the same people coming out to say they regret it. I mean, who are you deceiving? You cannot eat your cake and have it. You're eating your cake the same time you have it in your hand. How does that work? We need to understand it. We need to understand the principle, the rationale behind eating the cake the same time it's still in your hands. You see, Northern Elders, they, they've told Nigerians a lot of things. They've, you know, they, 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 they encouraged the North to support Tinubu. And today, the same people are coming out to say they made a mistake. Excuse me. What side really are you on? You are neither here nor there. You say, you, you, they come out now to say the suffering on the people is too much. Tinubu cost it. Oh, the people are, are dying of hunger. Um, I mean, the so-called fuel subsidy whole thing was a scam. And I'm wondering, did you just know it was a scam? 
Did you know when Tinubu was 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 promising? I mean, a man who who had you know mm -hmm. a, a conflicting personality in terms of you know all over there. You have different opinion as to you know who he is, uh, whether he graduated, he did not graduate, you know, and all that. With all that being said, you still went ahead, and that was the person you supported. And today, you want people to just you know take it with like and sinker that you know um, yeah. Tinubu is there, deal with it, you know. It's the ordinary man that is suffering, you know. People, people who are making money are still making money. Those who are living their life are still living their lives, you know. But, but I mean, everyone is feeling the road. Everyone is feeling the fuel scarcity. Everyone is feeling the price of a food commodity. Yes, you may be able to afford it, but previously to this time, you will not have spent as much as you are currently spending, you know, on these things. So it is, it is very, very bad when people keep quiet and pretend that all is well. These are some of the things that have affected us as a nation in no small way. And it is important to begin to look at this very carefully and ensure that the right things are done. You know, those, the, the days of, you know, pretending that these things are not happening is, 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 is far over now. And every one of us must do all that is needed necessary to move us forward as a nation and as a people enough is enough we can't continue with the same thing over and over again and expect you know a, a different result so it is what it is if there is any time in our history where every single person needs to ensure that we work together in bringing about the, the best for our nation it is now more than ever before so you see it is important remember nigeria is our country and we have everything, you know, for us to succeed. We all need to contribute meaningfully, okay? And just do what is needed in order to make sure that um, this nation move forward. If we continue to pretend and, uh, you know, we don't speak out when we should, you, you'll be surprised what we follow. So Nigerians, everything that is going on is a clear reflection, you know, of who we are and how things have been and what we should do, okay, in order to make things better. Yes? You know, so it is what it is. People are suffering. People are going through a lot. And so people are just smiling and pretending like all of this is not happening. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye for now.